I'm Heather and I'm a wallaholic. I feel much better for saying that. I quite like watching walls. I like just sitting there watching them interact with their surroundings. It, oh, it's way better than television. I really like walls and I particularly like crumbling walls. The idea of a romantic ruin really comes out of the late 18th and 19th centuries when people like William Wordsworth were passionate believers that what was interesting and of great significance about these landscapes was the twin creation by humans and nature. Thy mind shall be a mansion for all lovely forms, thy memory be as a dwelling place for all sweet sounds and harmonies. What an old romantic he was. For many people, the sight of ruins with things growing on them kind of implies that they're abandoned. Well, now people want their ruins sterile, but what if the romantics were actually onto something? What if being overgrown with plants is actually good for a ruin? We're very lucky in Oxrubble that we have the facilities of White and Woods and the Oxford uh, site here, where we can really evaluate some of our more wacky ideas without trialling them on actual real uh, heritage. Over hundreds of years, ruins like the one that Wordsworth loved so much tend to get naturally covered with soil and turf, and we call this soft capping. The four walls that we've got behind me here uh, were built in 2007. So if you notice, two of them are soft capped and two of them are hard capped. And they were all built at the same time to medieval standards. To test whether soft capping indeed is a good conservation solution. Overall, the results of our now 15 years of collaboration with English Heritage have shown several good impacts of soft capping. Firstly, it acts as a thermal blanket, which means that it stops the wall heads experiencing huge fluctuations in temperature, which can be very damaging. Second, it acts as a nice sponge that soaks up the water and prevents water from soaking into the stone. Thirdly, it stops water running down the face and causing problems there. And it also seems to prevent any chemical weathering um, at the base of the soil as well. So all round, it's a pretty good, effective conservation solution. I think Wordsworth would be very proud of us. I like to think that he's up there somewhere composing a poem on the beauty of soft capping at this very moment.